Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Saucy. We're going to do a quick video right here. I have a few ThinkPads that are BIOS locked. As you can see, when we press F1, we get that little guy right there. So ultimately, if you don't know the password, you can still get into the BIOS, but things like messing with the settings, you can't mess with them. Some people have tried the um, CMOS battery trick and it doesn't work. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to unlock it with the KMX2 um, BIOS unlocker and I'll show you, you know, that it works or not. But an another thing is, is to see, you might not need to unlock your BIOS because if the boot prior order is like this and has been changed, then you know you'll you'll be fine as I'll show you right here this is if you want to install an operating system um, or if maybe something bad happened to your computer and you need to boot off a CD or USB oh what the heck oh this case um, why isn't it, it's it's not booting because I believe the setting on this is that it has, I think, I believe this is a, I have this under legacy and the BIOS is under UEFI and you gotta switch that up. Um, so I, I can't, since since I can't, I can't switch it to, to legacy. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh wait. Oh, maybe you know what? Whatever. I don't know. You mess with this crap right here. I I, I hate Windows 8. I have the worst advice for Windows 8. So <laughs> I usually like I'll be in the BIOS for like 30 sec, 30 minutes, let's say seconds, 30 minutes trying to figure out how to get this thing to boot. But I'll show you that it won't work. What we're gonna do is. We're going to remove the CMOS battery. This is a T430. Um, so this the you guys got to know that the T430S is a little bit different, and so this will not work for it. Also, be sure not to bend your battery because if this thing bends, then it's going to smell. All right, let's see. Um, I think I'm doing a static discharge thing. I forget. I forget how to do the static discharge. It's been a while. You hold the power button. And let's see. Okay. And now we're locked. This is one of the worst things to happen when some people try to unlock the, um, the BIOS is that it'll always prompt you to, to set the time and you cannot boot without the time being set um I did have this problem once with the W500 uh, before I got this little guy basically I somehow shorted it out using two screwdrivers or three screwdrivers there is a way you could you could you could short out the BIOS with screws but it's not it's not always um doesn't always work. I failed like six times and I wasn't able to unlock the BIOS but I was able to mess with the settings but if if you remove the CMOS and this happens you're pretty much fucked even harder because typically since I was able to boot from a U well I wasn't able to this time but if you could boot from a USB from a USB you could probably boot from a hard drive because usually most of the time you can still boot from a hard drive on these things um and if if you can't if you can't boot the, from the hard drive, then obviously you need to get unlocked. But if you can still boot from the hard drive, then all you need is just put an operating system on another computer, and then you know put get that hard drive put in here. But um, since since not, uh, we get fucked. <laughs> I should have wrote lines about this. So let's go ahead and we're gonna have to get right here to get to, to the. Uh, S SCL or whatever the fuck that's called. 
Because the battleship is right here, but there's a shortcut right here. Let's get started. We're going to cut the, the bio sky is around here, the, the, the two little things we got to get into. So I'm going to go ahead and cut with a razor right into the green board, thus ruining the machine. Um, oh my gosh, this thing is glued up on here like crazy. These are, okay, these are, are really one of the most annoying things to mess with on a ThinkPad. I I believe I got got this this uh, this unlocker and I tried to unlock a BIOS on a R50 15 inch. Oh my gosh. Um, that, that thing, it's just easier if I just bought a freaking um, motherboard for that thing. Granted, it was... It was a different time. It was more expensive back in the back in the day when I had it, but yeah, um, the BIOS is over here. But pretty much, we're looking to get. Oh my gosh, I'm get rid of this. I don't know why they put this stuff here, but we're looking to get. Uh, I believe it's this one right there, and this one on top. So yeah. Okay, so the real crappy thing about unlocking biases on these guys is that I have to have this thing at a really strange angle um, because you have to unless you soldier or solder the contact points it's you know you, you're gonna have to hold on hold on to it because we got two we got you know two of these guys and we got this well, this goes just right there but still it's a bit it's kind of hard if I'm gonna do it like this and not you know look at it so um, <laughs> let's go ahead and turn this thing on most importantly we have the let's go ahead and press F1 we got to get to the BIOS so we got to make sure it gets to that now with the little circle the hard drive we got to make sure it gets to this then we can mess with it so let me go ahead and turn this thing off Connect it. All right. And let's go ahead, turn, get to BIOS again. Beeping like crazy. All right. It's into BIOS. Let's connect our ground. And, oh, I guess I should zoom in on this part. <laughs> okay, so for this particular machine, you have we have to connect the SCL to that. Oh, shit. Short out the machine. <laughs> you got to connect <laughs> to that one. And then you got to connect the... Uh, SDA to uh, right here. I did short out the other one before by doing this and I guess this is why it's really fucking strange because it's very you gotta like get it right oh shit I think I get the traces correct oh shit where was the other one because if you mess up and then on our oh shit fuck oh my god get okay and then our KMX guy we're just going ahead and press oh shit is this thing even on oh yeah there's a little little light right there that you're not gonna see oh shit damn it all right we're gonna try this over again Oh, what the fuck? Um, well, oh, fucking weird. So, I guess that shorting out still got this machine going. Strange. Maybe, maybe this one, you don't, you could just short it out like that and 
I didn't even fully did the. See, we got that. Oh, we got focus. And uh, uh, yeah, I guess it unlocked. That was a quick unlock, I guess. The password was easy. Usually that whole part takes like 10 seconds, but I accidentally, you know, unmoved or dropped this. But, but uh, yeah, so uh, that's how we unlock BIOSes. Um, you can get this uh, unlock. If your, bio if your BIOS is unlocked on for your ThinkPad, I charge a low sum of $3,000. This unit costs about uh it, it costs a lot less than that but um it's in australia and if you're in america you know i mean you, you, this is actually a lot more complex this tutorial video so you won't be able to do it so yeah um but buy you could you could buy my service for three thousand dollars and i'll unlock the bios for you keep in mind you could probably find a computer for a lot less than that but yeah whatever so the whole point of me doing this video was that i got a few of these T430s for about oh I got five of them. They were for three fifty plus twenty five dollars, so it was like seventy five dollars each. So I got five for seventy five bucks. What I'm gonna do is unlock the BIOS just like that, and oh I guess maybe you guys could sh should want to see my face. Too bad. And pretty much from there, I'm gonna go ahead and sell them for one hundred and sixty. So you guys will see them on eBay bid on them if you want or you don't have to some this one I might this one's in pretty good condition so yeah anywho this video is brought to you by clean screen go to clean screen or clear screen whatever I'll see you guys around I just want to make a quick video so peace out